what you're looking at is my new septic tank. Yeah. And it looks like the, uh, it will actually, I can't get across because they really kind of block things, but you can see where they're laying out the new pipe there. Yay! And uh, it will be on the edge of my driveway. So I'll have to put a flag or something on it this winter so people plowing my driveway don't actually uh, break off those, which will be above ground. Oh boy. Yep. But there's my new septic tank. It finally arrived. Yay! <laughs> well, it looks like they've got it connected to the old cast iron pipe. And here's the busted, crushed up pipe laying on top here. And another section of the old pipe. Oh boy. Yep. And, uh, yeah, actually, there's a cement corner there, so I might have had a cement tank in here. An old one, probably under all this, this area. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to ask him if it's okay if I still use my toilet. Because <laughs> it's not quite connected to the tank yet. They still gotta get another pipe. And that pipe, and that those two old pipes over there, one was for an electrical conduit, and the other one was for my natural, for the propane when they had a propane tank, where that big tree is sitting. Oh, boy. Well, it does look like I've got enough room I can get in there and trim back that bush so I can get that wall painted tonight. Now I'll talk to y'all later. I need to get busy. These look like the pipes for my drain field. Apparently, they come in sections that get put together after a trench gets dug from the septic tank all the way here. And look what, the, oh god, they ripped a couple of branches off my tree. I'm going to have to call my neighbor and see if he can bring his pruning saw and come and fix this. Ooh, that... That is going to be bad. I'm going to have a... That is going to be bad. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to leave a hole right into the heart of my tree. I don't know how to fix that so I don't get insects in there. But I'll see if I can get my neighbor with his pruning saw to come and cut these limbs. Oh boy. Uh, I had no idea, or I would have had these limbs pruned up before they came. I didn't know they were going to need to prune them up. Oh well. Well, good evening everyone. This is what I come home to. I got the drain field dug and pipe laid. They did avoid my little garden, so I'm going to have to shove some dirt because the ground's settled and dropped off under one corner. One corner there, my little garden. If you notice, right there. The whole ground is just dropped and settled under there. They have dug up, I don't know where, what these cement I got more of them over here not the, not those uh, you know those are cinder blocks we all know but all this they dug up that's more cement there's all this cement under here that they dug up dug up the trench see it goes there's something cement under here I know this used to be a field, and there used to be a big irrigation canal, and you know, all that stuff, so for all I know, all this cement was for 
And there's an old board that was under the ground, too. An old board that was under the ground. Another cement slab. So there's cement slabs, all these cement pillars, cinder blocks, all kinds of stuff under here. Oh, and all my tree roots from my trees. I sure hope my trees recover from having their roots torn up like that. But yeah, we're look that away. You can see the house and the septic tank. I don't know if it's usable yet. I hope I get to flush my toilet. My um little garden tomatoes are leaning. The wind's been blowing them over. I've never been able to figure out a way to keep those cages upright when it gets windy. But I'm kind of tiptoeing along the edge here. Probably shouldn't be tiptoeing along the edge. Here, let's go through here. Yeah, it's going to take some work to get my lawn to recover and my yard to recover. I hope they're able to put all my fence back the way... They were pretty careful. They got the uh, post out, complete with all its cement. So hopefully they can get everything put back together. Oh boy. Yeah. I don't know. It almost looks like way down there, there's another chunk of cement or something down there. I don't know. Anyways. This is the drain field, and it's going clear out here, almost to the end, before it splits off. Boy, they're doing a long one. It's really long. I didn't think they'd take most of my acreage, but they did. <sighs> Probably dug up a ton of the pocket gopher tunnels too so that's I guess no big loss but uh yeah got that here and i'm pretty sure the other trench uh, looks the same here we go coming down and here's the end oh. um since they haven't got it done yet, I'm sure they'll be back to do more. There we go. Looks like they've even kind of partially started burying it. And I guess it's just shoving all this dirt back where it needs to be. Um, oh god, I haven't visited my baby trees in a long while. Are they still alive? No, staying in, hanging in there, hanging in there, that one is. This one's doing much better. That one's doing better. And as long as they don't trample my baby trees, well, I guess if they smush them to smithereens, I'll deal with it. But, yeah. Okay, coming around to the other side, there's the split off for my septic. Boy, that's a long drain field. They didn't get that fancy back in 1940. Oh, boy. I think I will just go through the fence here. All right. Sorry you swing you guys around, but there we go. Yeah, it's a little easier to walk on this side, even though I need to mow it. I'd be so glad when this refinancing is done, I can get back. Tore off another tree limb, another low-hanging limb that I've been debating whether or not to cut off, but at least it didn't tear out like the others. So that one will be easier to cut flush with the trunk. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. I have no idea what all this cement in here was. Oh yeah, the ground's kind of sunk here. 
going to have to try to get everything up and get it all leveled. Yeah, that's going to take a bit to level that out. But we'll worry about that afterwards. Uh, garden seems to be doing okay. I got everything watered real good last night, so it can go a day or two. Still haven't pulled my peas, and I should. Oh, wind, you've been blowing. Oh, looks like one of my Cherokee purples is, or is that the black crim? That was, that's the black crim. Yeah, see the, that's the black crim. Looks like it's starting to ripen. <sighs> yeah, I've never been able to figure out how to get these to stay upright. They start, the wind starts blowing and they just fall over. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That awaits time to the frame. Anyway, oh, there then everybody's tumbling around and getting wind blown. Looks like it's all okay. It'll all eventually recover, the lawn, the grass, my yard, my trees. <sighs> Big hit. But they will spread out new roots. Okay, here's where some of those slabs came from. Look at that. I wonder what used to be under the ground around here. Is interesting. Oh, there are times when I really, really wish I could go back in time. Oh, and I was right. There's the black pipe that my uh, washer used to drain out through. Let's see if I can get a zoom in where my washer used to drain out, directly into this spot. And it was always a very low spot. Yeah, always just drained right into this, popped into this spot. Look at that. And there's the, sorry, didn't mean to wobble you around, but there's the end of my pipe from the old washer drain. And it just got to where it just wasn't draining too well. But now we've got to get the main house drain cleared out so that everything will drain into the new septic system. Which, they look like they got it connected, but I don't know if they want me flushing my toilet yet. Yeah, got everything, pipes are connected here. But I don't know if they want me flushing my toilet yet, but I hope I can flush it soon. It's getting pretty ripe. And my neighbors who come over, they've been working, they work today mostly on getting the old flaky stuff off the walls and taping up the windows. They're going to be back tomorrow to do some painting. Okay. Yep. That's some interesting looking, I don't know what all, really don't know about much about septic systems boy yeah oh that uh, that bent up metal pipe that's was my old pipe for my propane when I had when there was a propane tank here and that big pipe was to run the electrical conduit from the house to this plug that's, I don't know if you could see it right back here in the lilac bush there's the plug yeah that's what that was all right. Oh, and they're going to be harvesting the potatoes soon. They've got pulled the vines. Vines have all been pulled. So, 
Anybody who's new to this channel, I'm Meg. This is Meg's Little House in the Country, and I'm getting a new septic in, and it is destroying my yard and driving me absolutely nuts because I'm a perfectionist, and this gives me anxiety. Even though I know a year from now, you won't even be able to tell where anything got torn up because the fence will be put back on, hopefully right exactly the way it was before. And, uh, you know, I'll have my lawn nice and reseeded and green again, growing my garden again, and, oh, but right now I am really having a major panic attack over all this. My yard is in, it's terrible, it's torn up, and I can't do anything about it until after they're all done, but it will be so nice when they are finished. All right, I'm gonna go walk the long way around here because I do not climb into ditches and we need to get back in the house and feed the cats and there's a brush pile for me whacking back my snowball bush, which will grow back. Uh, my. Uh, Nanking cherry bush down there I trimmed back so that we would get a really nice could get next to the wall so it's I turned it back into a little tree it'll turn back into a bush as soon as it's all done but yeah <sighs> they're getting all this I guess this is the clean out for the septic is this where you would pump your septic I don't know how they'd go about pumping it out if it needed to be pumped but that's um it's nicely made nice curve so i guess if you do pump out and clean out have to have your septic pump this is where you would do it um yeah um it's a good thing i got a big piece of property i don't know how they do this on a half acre property i got a full acre plenty of room all right, let's wander back around to the back door and go feed my, well, I did feed the cats. I wanted them quiet. Still wish I could figure out what happened to my screwdriver. I have no idea. I got paint all over my lawn. Oh, ladders everywhere. There's my chair because I would stand on my chair to paint, but I got other people painting now. And I guess they're going to use a paint sprayer. Looks like they started spraying around that window up there. Yeah, I guess they're trying to figure out whether a paint roller or a paint sprayer would do better. But they got my windows taped off. Don't need to tape off. This side's painted. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I've been rambling on. This is... Day two of septic install. I'm going to get this video put out tonight and uh, we'll have part two. This will be part one. This video, part two, will be when I come home and find it's all finished. Tomorrow I have to I got to go to do a little work early in the morning, then go over to my mom's and go with her and my brother up to the parade. Matt likes to watch the parade every year. For him, that's the big part. Start of the fair is the parade. So we have to be where we're gonna sit at 9 a.m. Parade doesn't start till 10. And um, I'll try to get a few pictures. Post doing video is a little hard because I have to block out all the sound because uh, copyright and they generally play popular music the whole entire time so oh boy well my garden still looks pretty we're going to do a good garden video once this is done i promise we're going to go over the whole garden see what's ripened I actually do have pumpkins in the pumpkin patch so get ready for that once we're done with septic work talk to y'all later and I'll see y'all on the next video
Thank you.